What's the highest tennis level that you can achieve at the recreational level? In today's video, I want to give you the answer. But before I give you the answer, I want to tell you a quick little story about something that happens quite frequently when I train my players in person. So this one particular student of mine who was a female who had been taking lessons with me for a couple of years, was a very talented player and she had learned quite fast. Now, important distinction with what I'm going to explain to you today is this student's age. She was in her early 30s and she had watched some WTA professional matches the day before and she came on the court and asked me, Nick, what can I do to play like Serena? I really love the way she plays. I want to play like her. And I said, okay, listen, it's uh, never good to try to copy players, but all the professional players have fundamentals that you should try to adapt, blah, blah, blah. And she interrupted me and said, no, 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 Nick, I mean, I want to play against Serena. I want to play at that pro level. Now, this is not the first time that one of my students had asked me this. And I get very insulted when I hear this question. I feel sorry for my students because I always react in a very rude way. So this morning I was a little bit on my grumpy side and I gave the following response to my student. I told her, listen, there is a way where you can play against Serena and here's what you got to do. You got to get into a time machine and go back to the time when you were five years old and for the next 15 years you got to train six hours a day and only then will you have a 1% chance to play on a court against Serena. Now after I gave her this answer she looked at me a little bit perplexed and then I felt bad and I lightened the mood with a couple of jokes and everything was fine. But the reason why I get personally insulted when players ask me this is because I know how much work goes into becoming a high level player and some people have the audacity to think that they can do this in a couple of years starting late in life and in a couple of years they can be good enough to play at the high level for example or even worse some recreational players think they can play at the elite level and this is to me insulting because I'm a high level player I invested my entire life into playing tennis and this is something that just can't be made up later on in life now to explain why this is the case I'm gonna use an iPhone so I happen to have a daughter who is 14 years old and I also have a mom who is 17 they're both have iPhones and the way they use them is completely different. So my daughter grew up with an iPhone when she was very young, where she had a tablet, she had an iPhone, so she learned how to operate this thing at a very young age and she uses it with lightning speed. I'm sure if you have kids, if you see the way your kids are operating an iPhone, it's unbelievable the way they type, how fast and the way they switch between apps and they can do things on the iPhone that we can only dream of. Now I, on the other hand, got my first iPhone in my early 30s and I'm pretty good at it because I've had some good practice and I can do things pretty quick on the iPhone but my daughter laughs at me because she is so much better so much faster than I am on the other hand my mom who got her first iPhone at the age of 60 is unbelievably slow when she uses it the way she types and the way she switches between apps is very cumbersome it's much much slower compared to the way I use my iPhone now the point I'm trying to make is super simple because my daughter learned how to use the iPhone intuitively. Nobody really taught her how to use it. She figured it out on her own and she learned it as a kid. And when kids learn a motor skill, they learn it in a more intuitive way and therefore master that specific motor skill at a much higher and at a much faster level. I, on the other hand, learned how to operate an iPhone in my early 30s and while I'm pretty good at it I'm nowhere near my daughter when it comes to speed and accuracy while using the iPhone on the other hand my mom started learning how to use an iPhone at the age of 60 and she is nowhere near my speed and my accuracy at using the iPhone when you learn tennis as a kid you're going to learn it in a much more intuitive way but it's not only that the way your motor skills are going to be developed when you learn tennis at a younger age is that you're going to be performing the tasks that are ne necessary to play tennis much faster and more accurate than someone that learned tennis later in life now the later you go in age the more difficult it becomes to learn tennis so the answer to the title of this video which is the question what is the highest level that you can achieve as a recreational tennis player it is the 5.0 level now some people are confused with NTRP ratings and these levels can differ uh, from where in the United States you live and some of my audience doesn't live in the United States so let's leave the NTRP aside 
it's too confusing. Let's just say, if you started tennis later in life, the chances of you becoming a high level player are slim to none. So let me first define what a high level tennis player is. That is someone who is a competitive tennis player who maybe had success in juniors, was nationally ranked, or had a successful college career, or maybe played prize money tournaments and did quite well, maybe made some money, or played on the Futures Tour. That is a high level tennis player. The reason why you can't become a high level tennis player if you started playing tennis later in life is the same reason why I can't use my iPhone as fast as my daughter. There's absolutely nothing I can do. I could sit there and practice using my iPhone 10 hours a day. It wouldn't matter. I still wouldn't be able to use it as fast as she does. And the same is true for tennis. It doesn't matter how much practice you put in. It doesn't matter how hard you work at tennis. You will never be able to play high level tennis like I do. And I'm not trying to be mean. I'm not trying to be a dream crusher. I'm just being a realist. When tennis is learned at a young age, it is learned much differently. And let's not even talk about uh, playing matches and playing tournaments. The amount of confidence you collect, you figure out how to play the actual game. It's not all about motor skills. Tennis is mental as well, and it is a big part of the game. And when all that is learned at a young age, it gets developed in a more intuitive way, in a much quicker way, where players are really not thinking about much when they're playing tennis. They play tennis very intuitively. So for that reason, you can't become a high-level tennis player but even having that idea by itself is a very dangerous thing because I've made many videos about goal setting. If you watch my Mindset for Tennis video, I explain in great detail what can happen to you or even if you are a young junior dreaming about becoming pro, what can happen when you have dreams that are unrealistic. It can crush you mentally and you might stop playing tennis altogether. So when it comes to goals for my players, I'm quite ambitious actually. I want all my recreational players to become 5 O's. That is the highest recreational level that you can achieve. And guys, it is really hard to get to the 5.0 level. Have you ever seen a real 5.0 players? Uh, they're really good. Actually, if you look at them, some look like they could even play at the high level. So what you gotta do when it comes to goal setting in tennis, you gotta go step by step. If you're a 2.5, your goal should be to become a 3.0. If you're a 3.0, your goal should be to become a 3.5 and so on. Do not dream about playing at the high level. Do not ask me if you can play a match with me, I'm not gonna do it because it is a waste of my time and quite frankly, it is insulting for the reasons that I explained in this video. Set your goals step by step. Forget about playing pro or playing at the high level and realize that it's actually very hard to achieve the highest recreational level that you should be striving for and that is the 5.0 level.